It's that time of year again, a time for a reshuffling of the order, plotting of new and exciting paths for established talents, and the ushering in of a new era to shake things up. I am, of course, talking about World Self-Improvement Month this September. Hold on, sorry, just a minute. Sorry, there's been some sort of mix-up in the scripting department. I am, of course, talking about the silly season in Formula 1. Silly season, with its scrambling of contracts, endless shady transfer rumours from websites you don't trust, and video ideas that I spent four weeks editing only for a team to announce its lineup early, is often one of the highlights of an F1 fan's year. It's a shame that this year, in my opinion, manages to woefully disappoint. Like, seriously, at this point the most talented F2 grid in years may as well all bugger off to IndyCar or something. Ah well, at least those silly rumours about Albon to Williams are completely unfounded. I mean, a Red Bull Junior and a technically Mercedes-linked team? What a load of shit. I'm pretty sure some other vaguely important driver signed for some other team, but honestly I don't really remember a thing about it. It's almost like it hasn't been mentioned at all. Anyway, after this rambling introduction, let's get down to business, discussing one of the most interesting and important transfers of the new 2022 season. Valtteri Bottas to Alfa Romeo Racing. Alright, so this move hasn't exactly come out of the blue. Valtteri has been driving for Mercedes since 2017, and in that time he's won 9 races, and helped the team secure the Constructors' Championship in every full season since then. A pretty solid career, wouldn't you say? Well I would, if not for one small factor. Okay, so yes, Valtteri has failed to measure up to the title-sweeping might of his teammate, Sir Lewis Hamilton, and his results aren't exactly as successful as the Mercedes performance might suggest, but after the Hamilton and Rosberg show before him, I'm not sure that's what Mercedes wanted anyway. Valtteri's dedicated, he's hard-working, and remarkably malleable to team orders. Valtteri, it's James. Valtteri, it's James. Valtteri, it's James. Valtteri, it's James. Not that this diminishes Lewis's talent in any way, mind you. It just goes to show that Valtteri is exactly what Mercedes want in a second driver. Or did want, in any case. Like all famous number two driver relationships, something had to give. And unfortunately, what gave was most likely Mercedes's patience. Valtteri, thanks to some serious errors this year, cases of bad luck, and uh, not being born in Britain, has been much maligned by F1 fans and critics alike. Now that Mr. Saturday, <coughs> British Bedoa, <coughs> George Russell is heading to partner Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes, Valtteri has found himself at a loss. Mercedes don't want him, and a period of relative stability in the Formula 1 driver market has dramatically limited his options. Enter Alfa Romeo. Now that Valtteri's fellow Finn Kimi Raikkonen has retired after a staggering 20 seasons in Formula 1, and Alfa's second seat is currently up for grabs, Alfa Romeo needed to seal down a new driver deal pretty fast, so that's exactly what they did. A week faster than the video that I'd taken four weeks to make and was almost going to release by the time it In all seriousness, Valtteri may well find a good home at Alfa Romeo for the 2022 season. The Finn will celebrate his 10th season in Formula 1 next year. It's this kind of experience that Alfa Romeo need. Heading into next year's new regulations will undoubtedly shake up the Formula 1 grid, and having a consistent driver who knows what it's like to compete at the top will help build a solid foundation for Alfa Romeo for years to come. In terms of consistency, Valtteri is up there with the best of them. He's made 142 qualifying 3 appearances and 169 starts, that's a top 10 qualifying streak of 84%. He's 9th in the all-time records list for most podium finishes in Formula 1, with 63. Of the 8 drivers ahead of him in this list, 7 are world champions, and directly ahead of him on 68 podium finishes is Rubens Barrichello himself. It's easy to dismiss Valtteri as nothing more than a wingman, a second driver whose statistics solely come from driving a modern Mercedes car. While that may be true to an extent, I think many people overlook Valtteri's specific talents, his dedicated work ethic, his experience and his consistency. 
These things may not have won him many races compared to the Mercedes dominant track record, but in a smaller team, these attributes could really pay off. It's clear that I'm not alone in thinking this, as Bottas's multi-year deal signifies that the Swiss-Italian team at Alpha need extra security for the turbulent years ahead. Despite the intrigue surrounding the last seat on Alfa Romeo's 2022 lineup, one thing remains evident, and that's the levelling of the playing field. Budget caps, smaller cars, and the addition of ground effect all promise to make the racing closer and the gaps in team performance less massive. With Valtteri on board, plus whoever Alfa Romeo ends up selecting for their remaining seat, the new regulations will put serious emphasis on their talent. Before Alfa Romeo, Sauber had a long and storied history of talented drivers and solid midfield campaigns. It's up to Alfa Romeo and Valtteri Bottas to solidify and build on that legacy, as Formula 1 enters a new frontier.